Hello, welcome to my um, Attack on Titan Ornest cosplay tutorial because some of you know that I want to do a Mikasa cosplay and I'm making the harness myself because I don't want to spend my money on a harness already made on the internet and maybe not receiving it in time and maybe it won't fit me and uh, that will probably suck and I will waste my money and I don't want to do that. So I decided to make it myself because I thought it would be really easy but after spending two hours in front of my computer almost crying and analyzing all the straps I realized it wasn't easy at all. But I figured it out. I know how to do it. I guess I hope I won't fuck it up. And I hope it will be all accurate and almost perfect and comfortable and stuff like that. So yeah. First of all what I did yesterday was to analyze everything. So I made I separate I separate the artist in two parts. There's the top part and the bottom part. So I redrew it on some papers and have reference picture but this is going to be another video where I will explain to you all the straps and what or I'll make them connect and stuff like that. It was really hard and I finally figured out also the legs. The legs was really giving me a hard time. And yep. Yeah. So most of all since I really lack um, swing skills and I don't want to fuck everything up I'm probably going to hot glue the whole thing and yeah because I suck no but there's some parts I'm going to use the sewing machines and there's a lot of parts I'm going to use the hot glue if I don't want the um actually see that I sew there so yeah so I'm going to show you all the materials I have that I bought. Um, I mean, this cosplay I'm not getting out under. I mean, I can make it out under one hundred dollars. Uh, I'm. I think I'm like the limit of one hundred actually, with all the stuff I bought. It was kind of cheap. I mean, it was the cheapest thing I could find with the best quality I could find. So yeah, I already made the scarf. Uh, it was, I mean, I won't do a tutorial for it because you can either buy the scarf or I want like the perfect texture and the perfect color. So I bought the, the I bought the fabric and it kind of looks like a red like this. The texture is like not really, it's thin and it's like comfortable and it smells the new fabric and I love it. So yeah, I just cut a rectangle in the middle and wrap it around my neck and pull it on. Okay. For the arnest, I'm going to use um this fabric that is called vinyl. And I have like one meter long of that shit. And yeah, so it's kind of stretchable a little. Uh, it's the perfect color. I mean it's the color of the strap in the anime. And yeah, I mean it's not that um I mean it's really thin and yeah, the good color, and I can cut it easily with scissors. Uh, I can sew it, I can hot glue it. It's the perfect thing because you need about uh, more than 20, uh, between 20 and 30 straps. I, I'm not sure, I guess. So, yeah, there are really short straps, long straps, and Jesus Christ, I forgot to buy some stuff. Whatever. Um, yeah. So this is for the complete arnet. Then we have, I bought the same fabric, but in gray. For the jacket, the back piece, as I call it, and the side of the legs, because there's something about the strap. So, same thing. It's like the same fabric. It's a little bit, uh, not really the same as the other one, but it will be so gray for. I know some artists already made on eBay and stuff like that is brown, but I prefer it gray. So yeah, um, then I have like this, like I call that snap button. Um, yeah, it's snap fastener kit, like stuff like that. I mean, 
you just put it through uh, the um, fabric with like this little thing right there. So I bought them because I know like the back piece needs it and I may need it for like some strap on the side. But yeah, I need it for the, the side piece. I mean, I'll explain everything later. But little snap button as a whole. Pretty useful. Um, that's where I realized that I missed stuff. Yeah. Oh, I bought the buckle. There's not like, there's a gold. Like, I think there's gold like in the anime, but I don't fucking care. I mean, this one are gray, silver gray. I bought only three, but actually, I need five more because I forgot the belt and the tight belt. And the only bottles, and I didn't buy it. But I'm probably going to use this one for the because this one for decoration. Because I'm gonna explain it later when I'm going to do the thing. But also the like suspender clip for the harness here, and that's good there. I'm gonna put suspender clips, and for the ones on the front. I'm covering with another fabric, vinyl fabric, and I'm putting it this to make it look like it's attached on the belt with a belt buckle, but it's not, it's with the suspender clip. So yeah, well, whatever, that's what I saw, and I think it's gonna be okay, but whatever. So uh, I missed like five freaking belt buckle, I just realized I did. Duh! Oh, it's really frustrating. I guess I have to go tomorrow. But yeah. I also have I mean I took this one maybe for like the uh, the belt. I think I'm gonna use this one but I'm gonna take off that little part because it sucks. And yeah, so I guess for my belt I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna cut that shit and put it out and hope for the best. So yeah. So I take four suspender clips, I have two extra somewhere here. And you need at least um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's what I count first. Five belt book and I just have three. But whatever, it's okay. Um so that's it for the RNS. I'm still going to show you everything for the other part of the cosplay. Even though I'm not. Oh! Okay. Elastic strap. It's not brown, it's black. It's not the only color in the store. So it's for the leg, too. So yeah, you need elastic band strap. Color whatever you want. Um, then we yeah. have. That's not part of the harness, but you can put it as a part of the harness. I have also my brown fabric for the skirt to put around the harness. So yeah, it's like it looks like a um, a fancy scarf fabric, and yeah, so it's gonna be perfect to make like little wrinkles when you attach the uh, skirt, like in the anime. Oh, and then this is like the thing I'm the most proud of. Is where I found the fabric for the jacket because I'm doing the jacket. I am not buying that shit. And I found this brown jacket that is actually the same color as the anime. I do don't see it because of my lamp or whatever the light. But it's this exact same color as in the anime. And I'm really happy about it. I bought two meters of that shit. It smells good too. So yeah, and for the jacket, I still need to buy like this sort of paper that you put on your printer, you print something, you cut it, and like with the iron, you just stick it on the tissue, on the fabric, and I need to buy that. So yeah. Um, also I need to like buy a pattern to help to sew the jacket, because I don't have to know how to sew a jacket. So yeah. And I also have these little buttons, I have three like this and two big like this, because they are like the little pockets. So these are the buttons for the little pockets, and I know that there's like little straps there with the bottom. Here we go. So they're bigger than these ones because they'll go there and some go there. So yeah, this is uh, everything I need for um, the actual cosplay. Uh, I still need the boot, 
that I don't know where I'm going to get them, but when I'm going to get them, um, the scarf is already made. I have my white pants and a white shirt, mostly. But if I'm too hot, if it's too hot with the jacket and the long sleeve shirt, I'm going to change for a short one. Uh, I think that's all for the moment. And that's about what you need to have for a Mika Sako. Okay, well, I know it's cosplay, but it's the same guy. But yeah, so I hope you like that little introduction. And I'm going to jump to explaining the artist. Yay!